What's happening, you guys? And welcome back to Style Sessions. My name is Aaron Selberg. With me, as always, Jeremy Reed, founder of That Guy's Secret. What's going on? Not much, man. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Happy to be here about, what, halfway through the month or so on, on our style upgrade. 30 days, yep. 30 ways to upgrade your style, right? Yep. Love it. And today? Today, we're talking about texture. Touch the texture, folks. Touch the texture. Touch the te I like that. Okay. It's, a, it's a fun one, guys. We like to have a little fun around here. But anyway, seriously, texture of fabrics and how to wear and mix them properly yep. to enhance your look, right? Yeah. That's where yep. we're at today. Yep. Absolutely. So we're going into fall, right? Going into fall, which means it's going to get a little bit cooler, which means you can introduce some different textures into your wardrobe. If you're wearing a suit or a sport coat like I am, I've got a tweed vest on today. It's just kind of cool, coarse fabric. Gives it a little bit of a cooler, warmer vibe. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when you're going into the cooler months. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously in some of our other upgrade videos, we talked about wearing layers, which you're, you're obviously demonstrating that well. Mm -hmm. um, some other textures you're gonna run across, I, one of my favorites, and, I, and I, I, we have it pulled out here, um, you know, and, and, you, and we'll have some close-up shots here, is, is we're looking at a couple different wolves. Mm -hmm. So wool's a really common thing in, in, the, in the fall and winter months. It's gonna be a second or even a third layer that you're putting on in your outfit. Um, a traditional wool uh, sweater or cardigan, it's gonna be a really heavy, kind of be a big knit weave sometimes. Yep. You know, you know, there are a few different uh, weaves out there like the fisherman hook and- Fisherman hook and cable, cable knit, knits, something like that. Um, that's usually traditionally gonna be your, your traditional wool sweater. Yep. Something to think about wool. Texture-wise, it's very heavy, it's very warm. It if does get a scratchy though sometimes. Lamb's wool, especially gets scratchy. Yep. Um, if you got like a merino wool. And that's what, that's what the next thing have. I was gonna say is the merino wool. Merino wool is, is, is not as, it's very soft. It's woven it's a little differently. It's it's very comfortable. Right? It, it's yeah. such an interesting thing because you hear the word wool and you're just like, oh, I don't want to wear it. Yeah. But they're actually making wool socks, wool underwear, merino wool shirts, base yeah. layers, a lot of base layer stuff. And the reason behind it is wool and, and its simplest properties um, is a very unique fabric that when moisture touches it, it actually, the fabric actually just swells up. It soaks in all that moisture. It's soaks it in there and then it dissipates it. So it is like the natural moisture wicking fabric. Yep. It truly is. Now obviously synthetic folks have went out there went crazy with trying to recreate what already is created. Right. You know, it's wool. Yeah. Merino wool is one of the softest, most delicate touch things you can have. Um, it's not quite of a cashmere touch. No. You know what I no, mean? No, not quite. But it is still pretty buttery soft, you yep. know, so um, that's, that's that's some of my favorite fabrics when we this time of year. Yep. This is the wool line. Mm -hmm. um, another another option of yep. fabric is we've got some 100% cotton sweaters as well that have a, a thicker weave. And in when we're when we're talking about texture, it's not necessarily just the fabric that it is. Sure. It's how it's woven, how it's made. This is a 100% cotton sweater that we have up here. That is, it's you know, it's a finer cable knit. Yeah. Um, it's a very rigid, like it's got a lot of ridges on it. Uh, but it's a really cool crew neck sweater that just kind of adds another layer to your outfit. It's just, again, creates that cool texture. And it does, and, it, and it's not exclusive just to your tops. It can also be in your trousers. Corduroy's right? big, corduroy's coming back. Here's, here's the reality of it, guys. Corduroy's coming back. So I mean, we're talking, what, what are they called? Whales and, mm -hmm. right, whales? Yeah, the whales. So yeah. they're right now we're still in the real tight, small whales. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you honestly, I don't know if you saw it, I don't know if you got the shipment together. I got this shipment yesterday at the LaSalle store. Um, a corduroy, there's some corduroy shirts out there. This is a corduroy printed shirt. Oh my God. So it's a corduroy shirt with like a floral print all over it. Oof, oh, mind man. blown, right? Gorgeous thing. <laughs> but here's the thing, so, so it applies to your, your trousers and your tops as well. <clears throat> and I like doing it, what I like doing is I like mixing mixing a lot of different fabrics, yeah. you know, top, bottom. Um, in my opinion, just really adds more depth to your outfits. Yeah. Um, I did want to draw uh, nice, you know, attention to this. I mean, obviously a nice sports coat from Talia Orange. Um, they use mixed media or texture feels yeah. on, on it with a, a nice old school take back to an elbow patch. Suede elbow patches. It's got a really beautiful yeah. hunter green tweed with a chestnut window pane. I absolutely, this jacket came in and I, 
My heart skipped a beat. I, I love gorgeous. this jacket. It, it truly it's is amazing. gorgeous. Um, what sort of trousers? What color trousers do you wear with this jacket? What do you wear? Toast. Like a it. like a khaki color. Yep. Um, probably gonna pair that with uh, a pair of jeans. Denim. Yep, that's gonna look great. Great denim. dark denim. Yep. Perfect for fall. Those salvage jeans we got in. Yeah. Look great Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so you know, think about think yeah. about where you're at in the in the season and stuff like that. Again, we talked about layering before. It, this, you know, this is a cardigan. It can be a layering piece. You yep. can throw that on over a, a, a graphic Tina sport shirt and some jeans, and then you get a little warm. Throw it off, no big deal. Same thing with the jacket. Yep. And the other thing, you know, and, and I, I'm pretty much, you know, that's <clears throat> that's my main thing. So we've talked about trousers, we talked about shirts, we talked about different fabrics, but we talked about different weaves. They all create different textures. But also, details matter too, fellas. Little wood buttons, wood toggles, you'll see those a lot of times. Adds another yep. texture, adds another layer to your outfit. Yep. Um, embrace it, yep. go with it, and, and I, I think that's really gonna help upgrade some looks for a lot of people. Details, pay attention to the details because it makes it, it makes someone go, oh wow, they actually thought about their outfit. Yeah, which is nice. the, more, the more you can do that, the more you can add some details together, yeah. I think the better you're gonna be in the long Absolutely. run. <clears throat> it takes a, a hundred dollar outfit, makes it look like a million dollar outfit right there. That's right. So. right. Thank you guys so much for joining us for uh, today's episode. Tune in tomorrow for another Essential Style Tip.